I'm a gray digger. I'm a okay, okay, okay. If you boy Omega, we back here with another one. Y'all know what it is. Bossy YouTube, we run these streets. Let's get it. All right, we're in the hallway, and I'm about to break down this whole takeoff situation, right? Because I'm starting to think that Migo Bands take off homie, the one that was riding in the back seat, yeah, the one that everybody said might have been responsible for killing takeoff, right? I'm starting to think that his bullet wasn't the bullet that hit him in the head, man. And the reason why I'm starting to think that is because I looked at the video over and over again, right? Slow motion. I dropped the video last night, but a lot of people couldn't really see it or whatever, whatever. So, and YouTube, and TMZ acting funny. So, I'm about to just walk you through the steps of what I saw, right? Listen, at 46 seconds, the first shot goes off. That's when Migo Bands is walking and you see him pull his gun like this. As he's walking, he got his gun right by him. When you're walking like this and he let off any shots because you're trying to be sneaky, right? You're not going to hit somebody in the head, especially not on takeoff that's this tall, right? So you see him walking, and as he's walking, he sees the takeoff is struggling or is having some type of tussle with the guy with the tan sweater. The guy in the yellow tan sweater, whatever sweater, everybody's talking about the guy that ran across, right? The one that people are saying it might have been him taking his chain or whatever the case may be. But you see him having some type of a tussle with takeoff, whether takeoff swung on him. You can see some type of movement between both of them. When you see that happen, you can see that Migo Bands lets off two shots, right? You see two sparks go off. Those are the first two shots that were fired. After them two shots, you still see their takeoff is still standing there, having whatever struggle situation he's dealing with. Right after them two shots went off, he let those two shots off because he seen the takeoff was ready to bang with somebody or tussling with somebody. Because you see him kind of swing and you see him kind of like tussling with the guy. That's when you see the first two shots and here, the first two shots go off at 46 seconds. Two shots go off. He's walking. Two shots go off as he's walking. As soon as he sees the whole situation with takeoff, you watch him like, and then you see 46 seconds, right? You see him take two shots. You see two sparks go off. Boom, boom. After that, you can't really see much because the camera starts to duck or whatever the person is doing because those are the first two shots. But you see him go from from this position you see him go raise his hand right when you see him struggling over there as he sees takeoff struggling with the guy whatever it is that he's doing he raises his arm lets two shots off boom after the two shots go off that's when you hear more shots but you can't really see it so he didn't hit takeoff in the head if he did hit him by accident it was the stomach shot because he got hit twice he got hit in the head and he got hit in the stomach. So let's say he did let off two shots and hit him in the stomach. That could have been one of the shots. But again, it could have been self-defense, right? He could get off on self-defense. Why I say that? Because as soon as he let off two shots, you hear all the shots go off. He's already dealing with the situation where he fears and he's feeling like his man is being attacked. The whole type of incident that happened with Tim. You know what I mean? Little Tim and King Vaughn. If Stand your ground law says if you are in, or you somebody you with, it feels like you're in fear of your life for some reason, you can take action, right, and shoot. So what happens? He let off two shots, then you hear the rest of the shots go off. This is what I'm thinking happened right after that. He turns around and starts shooting because now shots is coming from behind him, right? That's where the other shots is coming from, where Quavo and them is dealing with whatever they're dealing with over there. But when them dudes heard these two shots over here, when he let off the two shots, what happens? They let off shots this way. Why? Because they see takeoff banging or struggling with somebody over here. Guess what happens? They return fire. And if, if Migo did return fire, he might have turned around and returned fire. I'm not sure about that. But the shots did ring back from over there. Them shooting back this way because he let off two shots that way. Guess what? One of those shots coming from that distance could have been the reason why takeoff is gone and he got hit in the head. Listen to what I'm saying because this is exactly what I'm thinking happened. He let off two shots. 
Shots come from that way. He turns around, shoots back that way, and that's when shooting occurs. And they start taking off. Everybody starts running. The guy with the tan sweater, yellow sweater, whatever, takes off this way. That's when you see takeoff drop. Because when he let off his two shots, you still see takeoff standing right there. He's still using drop and none of that. But when the camera goes down, you can't see it. Then you look again, then takeoff is in the ground. After all the other shots went off. That's telling me that his two shots didn't hit takeoff in the head or dropping just yet. After all the shots bring up, that's when you see takeoff drop. So Migo might get off with a self-defense. Be mindful of that. I can't play the video because, like I said, YouTube and MTMZ is acting funny. They already hit me with an age restriction or whatever, whatever. So I'm walking out through this and I'm showing y'all some pictures so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I try to, you know what I'm saying, edit the pictures a little bit so it can be bright. I circle the gunshots when you see the two flashes go off on a gun. And I also circle certain spots where you can see takeoff still standing and you see Migo Bands holding a gun as he's coming by and you can see he's keeping an eye on what's going on with takeoff. Another funny crazy thing to me is this, bro, the guy with the green sweater that was actually arguing with Quavo at the beginning is the same guy who's holding takeoff at the end on the ground. He's the same guy that was standing next to Quavo when they were gambling at the dice table and he's the same one that was arguing with them so it must have been something that they were around each other all through the night they were gambling with each other they were arguing back and forth those two were arguing they were around each other all night then at the end of the night you see him with the green and the white hat he's the one holding take off on the ground helping the motherfucking quavo and shit and it's crazy because that argument wasn't that serious if he still stood by to hold on and hold take off in the ground while he was dying. And it's fucked up and it's crazy. But there's a lot of funny shit going on. You see fucking Jake Prince Jr. walk through like nothing. Like that shit was like, come on, man. Like, I get it. People was like, oh, he was just walking. You can't determine what he was doing based on just a two, three second clip. But bro, his body language said, Psh, I ain't got nothing to do with that shit and kept it moving. I ain't trying to hear that shit, bro. Somebody who's dealing with a situation like that and knows who it is, should have shown some type of, you know what I'm saying, care or something. You didn't see nothing. Like, he walked by like it was, like somebody just dropped a cup or some shit. Like, that's really funny to me. But let me tell you something, man. Don't be surprised if you get the fans going down there and investigating the whole situation. You get a whole lot of shit going on down there. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Let's get it. I'm a gray digger. I gotta be the most underrated nigga in these YouTube streets, man. I gotta be. Subscribe, like, and comment in this bitch. Join the movement. Let's get it. Omega Drip exclusive. I'm a great nigga. Last shit I like blaze.